And now it is important to engage youth on the productivity, looking forward to strengthening the institution and also producing good results of engagement. This was disclosed by Comrade Patrick in Abuja and Tuesday during a civil society roundtable on the assessment and evaluation of the Federal Government Research Institute. Ajekonye Mary has more. The Nigerian Building and Road Research Institute has been in the forefront of the flight to free Nigeria from her pineric syndrome of collapsed building, bridges and road as occasioned by corruption and quickery. Yes, Nibri is very relevant there. Wherever there is a building collapse in Nigeria, Nibri goes there to, to take some samples of materials used in building the, uh, in, in, in building the house or whatever. And uh, at the end of the day, we have a soil lab, a, a soil laboratory in materials soil laboratory in Nibri, where you can test these materials to ascertain what could have caused the collapse. And at the same time, when they go to the field, they try to find out whether the the collapse is as a result of structural defects or materials. Nibri goes into this, and at the end of the day, Nibri now writes reports. We have several reports concerning building collapses in Nigeria. And since Nibri stepped into doing this, you can agree with me that uh, building collapses have reduced drastically in Nigeria because Nibri will go, bring out these reports, and make recommendations to the federal government for implementation. The director admin personnel department stated that the Nigerian Building and Road Research Institute has been active since the past 45 years and has been active in giving Nigerian affordable shelters, outlines homegrown, cost-effective and qualitative solution for our sustainable national development. The Nigerian Building and Road Research Institute has been helpful to Nigerian in the sense that whenever there is a collapsed building, they go there with machines to help detect the cause of the fallen structure and also help recommend solutions to the problem. The Nigerian Building and Road Research Institute has made local material that costs less to help average Nigerian have a good and standard houses of their own. When I look into the deficit of housing, when I look into the infrastructural decay in this country, it brings to mind where what is happening to our research and construction institutes. What have they been doing? Is it that government is funding them for their own personal gains and pockets? And we have to extract the activity. We have to look into their mandate. Are they actually carrying out the mandate given to them by the Act of Parliament? And that information is mind-boggling because what we saw is overstretched in the sense that we're able to understand that there's a content called Kozalana, which is alternative to cement. There's what they call brick blocks, which is also alternative to blocks that we make in our we use in making our houses. These are products and incentives where when put to use will be able to alleviate the suffering and the building deficit we have in the country. I think that is the whole idea. Government should begin to hold accountable to contractors and builders in the sense that you must obey and follow up the specification of that building. And in the event that the, the product and the con content you are using is too expensive for you, there is a puzzolana you can use alternative to smith. There is brick block you can use alternative to normal block we are using. These are ways to encourage our local content to thrive and expand our economy. Comrade Patrick stated that for countries struggling with issues of high level of youth unemployment, we need to make more investment into skilling up our young ones to take up roles in the sector. While developing local techniques for building in a peculiar environment, civil society for good governance to engage more of our youth productively. In light of this, we are calling on all stakeholders to give greater consideration to develop our construction sector, also the National Assembly to help in the funding.